All right, hey guys. Um, so in this video, we're going to go over the charge and charging concept builder. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and I know I always say that, um, but I think this one's pretty doable. So anyways, let's take a look at the, the particle count one. Then we'll do the get into the flow and then we'll do the analyze this. So this um, concept builder really centers around the, the idea of, do you know about the balance of protons to electrons and how that affects charge? And so if you remember back to maybe chemistry or eighth grade physical science, um, all objects, they contain protons and electrons, right? And protons have a positive charge and electrons have a negative charge. And they actually have, by coincidence, the same quantity of charge. So if you have one proton and one electron, then your atom would be electrically neutral. So the idea is, is that if you have more electrons than protons, right, if there's no balance between the two, then you would have a negatively charged uh, particle. And if you think back to chemistry, right, that meant that we had an ion, right? And ions really liked to bond with other ions. Anyways, let's go and let's take a look at this question. So a vinyl golf tube is negatively charged. What can be inferred about the relative number of protons and electrons in the golf tube? So it's negatively charged. It means that there's going to be more electrons than there's going to be protons. So we'll go ahead and we'll choose this one. Check our answer. Good to go. Okay. All right, let's go take a look at some of the other ones. So we're going to look at the get into the flow question. All right, so let's see if we can take the same concepts and apply them. So two lab partners are doing a static electricity investigation. They begin with a neutral aluminum pie plate after conducting the procedure, they observe that the pie plate has become charged positively. Which statement accurately explains how this happened? And so here's the thing. Electrons are the particles that flow, right? Protons are not the particles that flow. You can't really take an object and just shove more protons into it without also shoving electrons into it. And so your only two options are that either electrons were added to your object or electrons were taken away from your object. Okay? Those two options that say that protons were this and protons were that, you can ignore those two. We're talking about this one in particular, protons were added and protons were removed. Protons are not going to be your particle that are flowing. Since the object is charged positively, that means that you're going to have more protons in the material. And so that means that you had to take electrons away. And so we'll just go ahead and we'll choose that one, check the answer, and dad away. Okay, last one. Let's go ahead and I have faith in you guys' ability to finish. Um, let's take a look at the analyze this. Okay, so let's read the direction. So two students are experimenting with two neutral objects, a glass beaker and a sample of animal fur. They rub the two together and the glass beaker becomes charged positively and the fur becomes charged negatively. Complete the analysis of the situation. Okay, so they were neutral before. So neutral means that the protons are going equal to the electrons. And this is before they interact. All right, now what's going to happen afterwards? So they tell us that the glass beaker becomes charged positively. So that means that electrons are going to be taken away from it. And so more protons are going to be there than electrons. For the animal fur, it becomes negatively charged. And so you have more electrons than you have protons, which means that the electrons, I just want to reiterate for the next question, the electrons are going from the beaker to the fur. So how did the beaker become charged? Electrons were removed. And that away. All right, cool. That's it. Um, let me know. Everything's about the same. 
Uh, let me know if um, you guys need help, if you need some support. I'm here for you. I have very few people show up to my office hours. And so please be that person. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Or you can email me. That also works. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.